Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Scorpio, I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys stay safe. Let's get into your reading. For those of you guys that are interested in private consultations or spell work, now is the time to reach out as we're opening calendar. It's almost felt like this whole year we've been completely booked. I think we've only opened calendar once or twice this year. But anyways, we have availability now. If you guys are interested, definitely reach out. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so you can continue supporting and growing our channel. Let's get into it. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, my ancestors and archangels. Please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding their love life. What is it that they need to know at this present time? Please give us the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got cards flying out. Give me one second. How are you guys dealing with this crazy retrogrades, right? We've had like five different planets. It's been crazy, to say the least. It's been fucking with my emails, with my internet. It's just been crazy. Anyways, let's get into your reading. All right, Scorpio, we're starting off with the Seven of Wands. So putting effort and energy towards um, towards your relationship, I see you guys kind of being a little bit on the defensive side. We also have here the Three of Cups and the Full Card. Okay, so there is almost like, um, okay, so I'm hearing for some of you guys, you're going to be experiencing almost like being a... Uh, dealing with the friends or family members or relatives of your partner and it's almost a feeling of like here we go again or um, you know why do I always have to be dealing with their drama with their family drama that type of energy I feel that you're really being tested um, and of course it could have a lot to do with the fact that uh, your planet's been on retrograde as well <laughs> but there's soon um, we just recently had Saturn go direct as well as Jupiter. Mercury will be going direct on the 18th of this month. So things are going to feel a little bit better. I feel that there's a lot of stress, a lot of um, feeling emotionally drained is what I'm hearing for a lot of you guys. And again, the fact that you've been feeling like or dealing with a lot of drama in regards to your partner's family or your partner's friends um, is really testing you, Scorpio, or you will be tested. Uh, with the full card, though, there is almost this approach or having the need to take this approach of being a little bit more free or, you know, being honest uh, with your partner. Um, if you're having a, you know, the need to go out and take a breather or hang out with your friends or hang out with your family, it's OK to need that sometimes. And it's OK that you don't always have to be around your partner Um and that's something that a lot of people in relationships don't really understand. Freedom sometimes is necessary and important in order to recharge our batteries. And I feel that you're getting to that point, Scorpio. Your next card here is the Two of Swords with the Strength card. Yeah, so there is a need to take a different approach. There is a need to get out of the everyday routine, Scorpio. I feel that you're going to be tested because... I see your partner taking on people's like issues, uh, being there for them or trying to like hear them out when they're expressing themselves. And it's almost like you are going to be feeling like you're, you know, you're caged in. Like there is a need for you. It's almost like I'm seeing you like having the need to want to run away from your house, like just go running, you know, to, to, to get to have some time to yourself. And what they're telling you is that it's okay to want to do that, Scorpio. Um, and it might be vice versa. It is a general reading. It could be you, the one that's dealing with um, with a lot of people's drama and your partner's kind of tired of it. Um, and what they're telling you here is, you know, don't be blind to the situation. If, you, if you're seeing that your partner, um, you know, is getting frustrated about the situation, um, be mindful about it. You know, a relationship goes both ways. It's not just you always being accessible to your family and your friends. They have the right to do the same thing. Um, and not only that, but for some of you guys, if there, I'm going to be honest, if there's lack of sex, you can't sit there and complain later on of why things are not working out. 
because it is important to maintain the passion. It is important, you know, a relationship takes effort. A relationship is every day choosing to be with your partner and be loyal to your partner. And again, it is vice versa. It's a general reading. So it could be your partner. It could be you. The one that has been either lacking in the sex department or not being as intense and passionate as you once were. And what Spirit is telling you is important to nurture your relationship, okay? It's important to maintain the flames of passion, okay? It's not always about growing comfortable to the point of, you know, forgetting to romanticize each other, to forget about going out on dates. It's important because it, it feeds the desire to continue growing in the relationship. And finally, oh lordy, you have the three of swords. Okay. For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that, like I said, have been going in this dry spell, meaning you haven't been as sexually active with your partner as you were at some point. It is going to be very important and crucial to maintain that because they may be tempted. This could be you as well. You may be tempted. I feel that it hasn't happened for some of you guys. You may be dealing with a third party situation or you may be intuitively picking up that something is off with your partner. Before we go wilding out, right, judging or criticizing or thinking the worst, have we tried to be a partner that's there for our partner is the main question here. Seven of Wands could represent you pushing your partner away because there isn't a, you know, the spark that once was there. And if you're not maintaining that physical connection, what can we expect? It's about putting effort, like I said, on everyday basis. Now, this could be you dealing with the partner that hasn't, you know, lately been physically active with you and you're wondering what the hell is going on. Why, you know, are they not desiring me? Are they not, you know, why aren't they really trying to connect with me on a deeper level, on a physical level? And it could be because you kind of intuitively are picking up that they may be dealing with someone. I don't see, I don't see the cheating of the physical, but they may already be connecting with someone that they feel emotionally connected to. For others of you, you may be dealing in fact with a partner that has been sneaking around and has been cheating. But what they're telling you here is if you're seeing this and instead of like pulling back or not giving sex to your partner or punishing them for something that you intuitively are picking up on, you can turn a blind eye to this situation. You have to address it, Scorpio. Um, because I feel that the more we ignore it or the more we sweep things under the rug, it'll get to the point of no longer being able to fix it. And that's when we have partners straining. That's when we have partners that are, you know, cheating on us or walking away or being with other people because they don't feel that connection anymore. So if you've been dealing with a partner uh, that hasn't been, you know, completely honest, that has been sneaking around and you've been wondering, you know, are they dealing with someone? Yeah, they are. They are. And the reason for it is because there's been a moment in time where you guys haven't really put effort in maintaining the flame of passion in the relationship. For others of you, it could just signify that you need to stop pushing or, you know, punishing a partner uh, to get what you want. Because ultimately what you're doing is you're pushing them away. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, guidance, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.